lifestyle kind of sore. These are confessions of a lifestyle kind of sore. These are confessions of a lifestyle kind of sore. I'm pretty sure you never felt this. Hey, yo, what's shaking? This is Mr. Cab Cabernet, lifestyle connoisseur. These are confessions of a lifestyle connoisseur. There's an old saying, heavy is the head that wears the crown. As you can see, I'm not really wearing a crown today, but I don't have to wear a crown. You know why? Because I'm a natural leader. I've always been a leader. Anybody who knows me as a child, the way I thought, okay? The way I moved was that of a leader. So what is a leader? First of all, leaders are born. They're not made. You can't teach someone to be a leader. You can teach someone to be a director. You can teach someone to be a manager. But a true leader leads from within. Okay? True leadership is not about oneself. It's not about dictatorship. True leadership is about leading the followers, leading the group, leading the unit, doing what's best for the unit to get the best outcomes for the group or the unit. Because the best outcomes for the group or unit is the best outcome for the leader. So, when the leader leads, if he leads the group successfully, then that success falls on the leader. But if he leads the group unsuccessfully, that failure also falls on the leader. Leadership is not for the faint of heart. It's not for the weak man. It's not for the lazy man. It's not for the irresponsible man. Leadership takes great responsibility, great accountability, and great vision. Look at the history of our leaders. The leaders who have now, their names are, are now immortal etched in stone in time and memorial. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was a leader of masses of people. He was a man of vision, a man of courage, and most of all, he was a man willing to die for his leadership, die for his followers. We don't really have leaders like that today. Very few men really willing to die for their leadership. Leaders set the trends, they don't follow them. Leaders go against the grain, go against the system, go against whatever structure is already in place. Every man who's ever changed the world he was a leader and he went against the structure or system that was already put in place he shook it up because certain rules are meant to be broken and we cannot progress as a people without new ideas new visions and new leadership When a company goes through a change of a new leader, it changes the structure of the company, the direction of the company. It's necessary from time to time. Leadership.
I think this definition is misunderstood and confused and misconstrued over over the years since the advent especially since the advent of social media because with the advent of social media we have followers and every leader has to have followers right so the issue with this is that people can pretend to be leaders anybody can pretend to be a leader today because they have followers online right and not only can you just have followers online people following you and things you say and do your life online but you can also purchase followers if you really want to feel like a leader so you have people walking around pretending to be leaders because this particular person might have a hundred thousand followers or million followers so the perception is that this person must be a good leader right or contraire mon frère a person is not necessarily a leader so let me ask you a question How many followers do you have offline? How many people would follow you off social media? How many followers do you have in real life? This is Mr. Cab Cabernet, lifestyle connoisseur. These are confessions of a lifestyle connoisseur. Style connoisseur. These are confessions of a lifestyle connoisseur. These are confessions of a lifestyle connoisseur. I'm pretty sure.